our next concept is that is cache memory principles <coughs> the cache contains a copy of portion of main memory where we are having two diagrams that is first one is single cache and second one is three level cache organization if you see carefully in the first diagram that is single level cache or single cache the cache is placed in between the cpu and the main memory in between cpu and cache whatever the communication is performed that is through a word transfer and the communication between the cache and the main memory we are having block transfer of the information here cpu and cache in between them the communication is very fast and in the in between cache and the main memory we are having slow communication or slow transfer of the blocks in the cpu whenever request or processor attempts to read a word of a memory during that time a check is made to determine if the word is in the cache and if it is present there the word is delivered to the processor but if the word is not present in the cache then block of main memory consisting of a some fixed number of words is read into the cache and then the word is delivered to the processor in the three level cache organization <coughs> here number if you see carefully there is three la different levels of caches are performed the their operations the communication between the cpu and the level 1 cache it is the fastest after that level 1 cache and in between the level 2 cache communication it is uh, only fast and l2 cache and l3 cache is having less fast communication after that a level 3 cache is having slower communication with the main memory means here it, we are having here three different levels of caches so that l2 cache is <coughs> slower and typically larger than the l1 cache and the l3 cache is slower and typically larger than the l2 cache whenever cpu request the same information from the main memory during that time first of all information is checked that if that information is present in the level 1 cache then level 1 cache is again giving that information to the l2 cache that to see that information present into l2 cache or not and afterwards for the l3 cache also if three of them is not having the information then again in the same way your main memory is storing their the block of information to the l3 cache after that l2 cache and at last l3 cache l1 cache so that the cpu and the main memory communication become efficient <coughs>